Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Carly, nice to meet you. I am a birth and postpartum doula and I gave birth to my second baby this past November. I am officially out of the quote unquote fourth trimester and in today's video, I just wanna talk about my postpartum body and how I'm reconnecting to myself after nine months of growing a human and the last five months feeding and taking care of said human, uh, I personally find that these months are the most isolating part of pregnancy and postpartum. The news of having a baby feels kind of old and somewhat irrelevant to someone else. And yet to me, it feels like it literally just happened yesterday. And if you asked my body, it would say the exact same thing. A huge thank you to Osea for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I am so excited to be partnering with them. Uh, but more on that later. For now, I want to talk about the five things I have been doing to reconnect my body and to myself after having a baby. One of the first things I have been doing is embracing my body's natural rhythm, allowing my body to be slow when it needs to be and riding the waves of energy whenever they do come. Bounce back culture tries to teach us that the epitome of postpartum success is someone who just snaps back as if pregnancy and labor never even happened and advocating for that productive 5 a.m. morning routine and being ready before anyone else and meals prepped and planned and ready to go. And I have found so much peace in allowing myself the space to not set such impossible standards. Your body is still recovering and you might still be waking up one or two or even three, four times a night to feed your baby. And it is 100% okay to rest when you feel like you need to rest. Doing some shadow work around why I felt so much shame about slowing down has really been healing to me in a way that I honestly didn't even know that I needed. Number two is that I have been prioritizing daily rituals that are for the sole purpose of sparking some joy. When you're busy taking care of tiny humans all day long, you really start to eliminate the things that just aren't essential and just take up time. Your hours are limited and there's much to be done, so you have to choose how you spend your time wisely. And when I'm looking to just reconnect with my inner self, I like to find a ritual that is simply something I'm going to enjoy for the sake of enjoyment. No function, no productivity, no serving other people, just a moment during the day when I can bring awareness back into my body, take a breath, doing something rhythmic and creative, and just enjoy it. Right now, for me, that looks like taking 10 minutes in the morning to make homemade oat milk and espresso and just make myself a really delicious drink simply because it feels good. The third thing I focus on is spending time with my journal. I've found that during postpartum, I'm able to work through and dismantle more shadows than any other time of my life. Something about being in such a raw and vulnerable state really just opens me up to introspection and it feels really, really good to lean into that rather than resenting how emotional this time can be and how sensitive and uh, just really vulnerable I feel. I try to to use that to my advantage and using that vulnerability to open up pathways that I've never been able to explore before and really just allow myself the opportunity to use this time as a portal for emotional maturity. Uh, one big one that I have been unpacking is body image and how my experiences have shaped the way that I view my postpartum body. And I've been writing some affirmations to kind of work through that relationship I have with myself. And it's been incredibly powerful powerful and healing as I've watched my body as well as my identity as a person change and just kind of leaning into the discomfort that comes along with that. A huge shout out to Osea for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you know me at all, you know that I am a total skincare junkie and it's a huge pillar of my self-care routine. To be partnering with Osea is a total dream, but their products stand out above the rest in so many ways. The brand itself is a clean, 
vegan, cruelty-free, California-made, and climate-neutral company, which makes the products just that much better. And I have been using their algae body oil and body butter on my entire body every single day, especially while the air is still so bitter and cold here. And this duo keeps my skin moisturized and glowing. I, whenever I'm breastfeeding Indy, always lay on the bed on my side and my elbows are always so dry and it really starts to be painful and like cracking and I always layer the oil and then the body butter on top and it keeps me so much more comfortable. Osea also recently launched their new Sea Glow Overnight Serum, which is a resurfacing AHA treatment that exfoliates and promotes cell renewal and minimizes the appearance of pores and it is truly spectacular. It's formulated with fermented shianku oil, spirulina, and seaweed and it's really effective effective, but not too harsh on my sensitive skin. You just apply it before bed and top it with your moisturizer. And when you wake up in the morning, rinse it off and your skin is insanely soft and smooth and radiant. Uh, the way that my hormones shifted during pregnancy and postpartum has essentially given me an almost entirely new skin. So I've had to ditch so many of the products that I used to use to find a completely new skincare routine to suit my new skin needs. And Osea's products are some of my absolute favorites. If you want to try some, you can get 10% off of your next order by using the link in my description box and just use this code right here on the screen. And thank you again so much to Osea for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. Another thing I've been doing to reconnect to my body is going to the gym and getting a personal trainer who specializes in working with those going through postpartum. My pregnancy with Indy left me feeling incredibly weak and fatigued. And frankly, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to go through labor because my body just felt so weak. And then during the first three months of postpartum, I was just easily winded and in pain from the day-to-day -day body work of caring for my new baby. And and I didn't feel strong enough to do the things I needed to do every day and went to bed feeling just completely wiped. So I decided to start working with Cassie in order to regain that strength and mobility that I was so desperately lacking. And you guys, let me just tell you that... This is hands down the most effective thing I've done to help reconnect myself back into my body. Uh, Cassie has a background in Pilates and it has been a game changer in strengthening my muscles on a deep level and she just understands where my body is at. I was really, really nervous to overdo myself going back into like a regular workout class or just working out on my own because... There are so many nuances to a postpartum body, and I felt really, really vulnerable. By working with Cassie, not only am I strengthening my pelvic floor and my core, but I'm also finding so much mental clarity in this space that nothing else has been able to give me. I've never really been very into going to the gym, honestly, because I just had the wrong mindset. But starting this off on the right foot with a healthy relationship to my body and to my goals has made all the difference. I feel like I've been healing my relationship with working out because I used to feel this pressure to go for the express reason to lose weight. And I could never find consistency because I didn't have a healthy relationship to it and I was just going for the wrong reason. I think a lot of us are unlearning some of the things that we were taught about working out and weight loss in general, pushing back on the concept that just because we're choosing to work out, we must in turn want to bounce back to our pre-baby bodies. And that just is isn't the case. It's perfectly reasonable to feel appreciative and confident in your body while also still wanting to strengthen and care for that body without any preconceived idea of how that body should look. I feel like I could really sink into my workout because I'm just not carrying this mindset of, oh, I'm here to get back to my pre-baby body. I am simply here to give my body what it needs to be healthy and that feels really fulfilling. I go to one training session a week with Cassie and then I do another workout once or twice a week on my own. And by working with Cassie, it's really just been amazing because she's there showing me proper form, giving me small adjustments that make a huge impact, and just helping me focus on my breath while I'm doing everything. She personalizes the workouts for where my body is at in this current stage of postpartum and has held my hand every step of the way. So if you're local to the Raleigh area and looking for someone who has tons of knowledge around postpartum strengthening, I will leave her contact. Info in the description.
description because she is truly the best. Now, just as I've been unpacking my relationship with working out, I've also been really focusing on my relationship with eating. I am really grateful to be exclusively breastfeeding Indy, and it's important to me that the food I'm eating is nourishing my milk supply as well, which in turn nourishes her. The concept that postpartum people should be striving to get their pre-baby body back rather than focusing on how to nourish and give your body what it needs is seriously insane. So here is your gentle reminder that you do not need to be cutting calories. You do not need to be restricting your eating after you've had a baby in order to get your pre-baby body back. Give your body the fuel it needs to be the healthiest and best it can possibly be. Alongside the work that I've been doing with my journal and my morning routine and at the gym, I'm also spending a lot of time just with my physical body. When we're pregnant and growing a baby, we're so proud of the way our bellies get bigger and start to show. We take photos of them and just really bring attention to the fact that we're growing. But the minute there's no longer a baby inside, there's this immediate inclination to hide your stomach. It's no longer round and full of life. It's it's lower and saggier and softer where there once was me and a baby is now just me with remnants that there used to be more. And as birthing people, we've been taught throughout our lives that pregnancy is something to bounce back from, that having an altered body after having a baby is something to avoid. And we obsess over the oils and the lotions to rid ourselves of the stretch marks and the evidence that we were ever once the portal for a new human to come into this world. And in order to work on eliminating that shame, I've shifted my narrative. Rather than trying to erase that history from my body, I'm spending my time admiring it. Every day, I take intentional moments to adorn my belly with oil. I treat it as a ritual where I'm admiring the skin that housed the two little people who I love most in this world, setting the example for them that this body isn't something to just bounce back from, but that it's a space to be nurtured and admired and praised. I walk around with my stomach showing all the time to create space for me to just love my body exactly as it is in this moment, not what it once was or what I wish it to be just exactly in this moment as I stand here today, loving myself deeply and wholeheartedly. Self-love is an act of practice, and I'm working really hard to do that. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope that you were inspired in some way by watching this. And again, a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Osea. Be sure to check the link out in my bio to shop their products, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.